Peace, it's Megan. So today I'm going to get ready with you and I have so much random new stuff in front of me that I'm just going to play around with and I have a lot of stuff that I bought from the Sephora VIB sale and then also my Shiro Cosmetics products. So we're just going to play today. I thought that that would be kind of fun and the weekends are only the only time I really have to like play with makeup because I have not become a morning person yet so <laughs> I'm hoping that it will happen maybe but in the mornings I just want to do something easy for my makeup and I don't really feel inspired to play around especially because I don't have a lot of time because I'd rather sleep um, but on the weekends I have a lot of time and um, so I'm going to film when I get ready on weekends which I think will be fun. Um, the one thing skincare wise that I am going to try out today is the Tony Moly lip balm. Oh my god everyone does this. Oh my god it's so cute. Um, everyone has been talking about these. I just had to get it. I got the blueberry scent. Oh and it comes with a little stopper so I couldn't smell it. Um, yeah, it smells straight up like blueberries. It's awesome. They also have a honey one. Oh, so I'm swirling my finger in it. It's a little softer than I thought. Um, I didn't like how the honey one smelled. It was just like, I don't know, too honey-y, I guess. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so crazy how much it actually smells like blueberries. Okay, well I always put lip balm on before... I get ready so um I did the rest of my skincare but I wanted to share like how I first thought my first impressions on this and it's so smooth it's so nice okay um I also got to try the Too Faced shadow insurance I um by now you have seen my um Sephora VIB sale haul and you know the story but um I ordered the small size of the Ew, it just oozed out oil. Oh my god. Ew. Okay. Well, that's not my favorite start to a product. Um, so I got... Ew, it's like so oily. What the heck? Does this ever happen to you? I've never tried Tooth Face Shadow Insurance. What I'm trying to say is that I ordered the Urban Decay one online, but the little, um... Like, now they have the wand in it, and it was, like, broken, and so I didn't want to deal with that, and I realized I don't want a wand anyhow. I just want, like, a squeezy tube, and over the years, I've heard people talk about the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I've just never tried it, so I thought I would try it, but right now, it's giving me hell. See, it, like, look. It, like, separates. Is there something wrong with this one? Oh, my God. Seriously. I'm trying to like knead it to mix it. That looks a little better. Okay. So we're going to try this. My giant size of my Urban Decay Primer Potion I think is too old so it's not as effective. Um, so I just wanted to get a new one and see if it's me or if I do need a new um, eyeshadow primer. So that was kind of a weird start to this, um, but I will let you guys know how that holds up throughout the day. Okay, what eyeshadow do I want to use? So I have so many of these um, Shiro eyeshadows and I purposely wore a white shirt so I could do like crazy eyes but have you ever got these like hanger things like in your shirts so this has been on my hanger stupidly for like an entire year um is there any way to get rid of these like little poofs from the hanger let me know if you know Okay, so I either want to use this green color, Lingered in Twilight, the purple, I understood that reference, or Mockingjay, this gold. I, I'm going to do the gold. I'm feeling, feeling gold right now. But first I'm going to put, let's see, what eyeshadow base? I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in a while. This L'Oreal Infallible 
um, cream eyeshadow in Enduring Rose. I love this one. It's so pretty. And I like never use it because I'm trying to use up other cream eyeshadows. So even though I'm not a morning person, I woke up this morning at like 8.30, which I know isn't that early, but for a weekend, like what the heck? So I feel like I'm an adult. Like I always wonder why my parents don't sleep in, but it's like you physically can't. <sighs> what an adult of me. So eyeshadow base on. I'm also going to take my little Dior palette in, oh my god, I think one of you told me how to say it. I can't remember now. Montagne. Montagne. I don't know. Um, if you know, please let me know. But I'm just going to put, no, not that brush. Um, ooh, I love this brush. This little Sephora um, Crease Shadow number 73. That's a really awesome brush. I'm just going to like mix these colors over here. This is what I've been doing because the pans are so small. So I'm just mixing like these three just to like put in my crease for like a blending shade. I've been doing this, like putting a blending shade first before I do my lid and I like it because then it's not like interfering with your lid shade but the crease looks blended. So it's just really nice if you've never done it that way. Okay, now I'm going to take the star of the show, Mockingjay Pigment from Shiro Cosmetics. Oh my god, look how beautiful that looks. So I haven't tried this one, and I've been using my MAC Fix Plus to wet my brush, and it works really well with these pigments. Um, my favorite brush that I've been using, it's going to be dirty if I could find it. Oh, here it is. This is the Sony Akashic number 110. It's actually a synthetic concealer brush, but it looks so much like the MAC 224, I believe. That's like a flat shader synthetic brush. Um, it looks seriously just like this and I need to wash my brushes today. Like it's so overdue. Um, but I'm just trying to get the pigment off. If any of you guys like know a good one of those like makeup cleansers that you just like spray on your brush in between um, using colors or like every day because like I don't have to do it in between using colors but like the next day if I use a dark color on this brush but I want to use a light color just wiping it off doesn't really work all the time um so if you have a favorite like little makeup remover that you can use like day to day please let me know okay so I just um spray my brush and I always I always have a this looks horrible, but these are like hand towels or like towels you dry your hands off with that I just use for makeup. So they can get all disgusting and I wash them when I wash my sheets. Um, so it's pretty wet. So I just like tap it off a little and then I go into the pigment to get a lot on the brush and I always utilize the cap to like press it in. So, oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to see how it looks. Oh my god. Of course it's beautiful. These Shiro eyeshadows are so impressive. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, that's so gorgeous. And it's still a little bit wet, but it'll dry, like, so intense like that oh my god and this is from the she has a hunger games collection um and that is from this one is from that collection hence mockingjay being the name that kind of makes sense oh my god it is so beautiful oh my god and then what i've been doing is taking one of my favorite brushes that is no longer made this up and up from Target little blending brush and I take a little bit of the pigment on this brush just dry and I like go along the edge of it to blend it you don't have to put more shadow on it or you can use a different shadow but this is just what I've been doing and it's really been working oh my god it is amazing. I hope you can see how incredible it is. 
Oh my god, it's amazing! Okay, so I'm glad I used that one because this is going to be so amazing all summer. And it's finally warming up. It's been so nice around here in Pennsylvania. Um, I hope it's been nice where you guys live. It's been like upper 60s, low 70s, which is like my perfect temperature. I love that. So I've just been enjoying it so much using my sunroof and opening my windows, except since I had my eye issues, okay, so the weekend of Easter, and I also had an eye issue last Sunday, I had, so my Easter issue was with this eye, and then the next weekend I had an issue with this eye, and today I have an eye appointment, like, just to get contacts, but I'm, like, paranoid of opening my driver's side window now because, like, of dust, <sighs> but anyhow, that's a me problem. Okay, so I don't know what else I want to do with my eyes, but I did get this Tartlet clay paint liner, which is so fascinating to me. It's in black. I don't know if they have any other colors, but I don't have a black gel eyeliner. I haven't had one for years, and I think this is really cool because it comes with a brush, and this is one of those like bent liner brushes, and the um, thing is super fine, and I've always wanted to try a bent liner brush, so it comes with the liner and a brush for $24. I think that's really cool. So, the revolutionary part of this is the way it dispenses. So not only is it in a tube, which is really cool because, you know, gel liners and pots tend to dry out. Not sure if this one won't dry out, but you might think, like, it'll help not dry out since it's in a tube. Um, but this little part here, when you squeeze out the product, you're supposed to use this little flat part as like your palette. So you don't have to like use the back of your hand or whatever. That is what I've heard. Um, I just sort of bought this on a whim and we're gonna try it now. So I am squeezing it. Whoa, a lot came out. Oh shit. Okay. So I am, oh God, this brush needs to be warmed up. Okay. So it just needs to get a little flimsy. Oh my god, I squeezed that way too much. I hope that you can, like, control it a little better. Okay. So I'm, like, tapping it on here. It's kind of hard because there's so much product. And then I'm, like, scraping off the edges. Okay, but the problem is, where do you set it down? I guess you hold it. Okay, let's get a mirror. This is, like, the smallest mirror I could possibly pick. Oh, well. Okay. Oh my god, this eyeshadow. So. Ooh, it's so black. I tried it not on my face in the store, but I tried it um, on my hand and it was so, so, so black. How do you think that looks? I think it did pretty good. It seemed like when I went over it, like over itself, it didn't, it got less intense. But it could just be my imagination. Okay, let's try to do the other side. This brush is really easy to use. messed up a little okay the only thing is like now it's like oozing not oozing but I got too much off so I'm just gonna wipe it off I hope that's okay I hope it doesn't close up the hole so I'm gonna okay I just opened up the hole with the little brush because you know gel liner or like what is this called clay paint liner so I don't know if that's different than gel liner I honestly don't um but with gel liner in my experience, you have to wash your brush, like, right away or else it'll get all hard. Um, but I kind of messed up the bottom of this. It got too thick. I actually like that better. I actually do like that better. 
oh whatever okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that but I have these really cool q-tips that are like pointed that I use for like cleaning up liner and the lip balm is still nice okay now I'm going to move on to my face I have been loving my ready set gorgeous foundation and I'm so close to being out with it which is so so depressing um really any brush to apply it is amazing so I just pick whatever this is the real techniques buffing brush and I use the color 105 in the foundation and it is such a good match for me so that is like one of my favorite 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 things and it's just so easy and the packaging is easy you can travel with it Ow, I just like is there like a freaking knife in there it like scratched me that was weird yeah when I go right here it like scratches something's wrong with my face um yeah this is just such a good foundation if you haven't tried it and you are skeptical of it because of one all the hype and two that it's drugstore and it's really inexpensive seriously give it a try because I was skeptical too um but then my best friend Chloe told me about it and she has extremely extremely oily skin and when she says that a foundation looks nice all day that means something to me and I know that she doesn't say it lightly um because she's just like a person she's not like a person on YouTube that gets paid by companies to say it so when she said it I was sold and I don't have extremely oily skin and it works so so well for me so definitely give it a shot if you haven't it is seriously wonderful okay also I got a sample of the YSL Touche Claude. I've had samples of this before. I'm really interested in the number one. I almost bought it during the sale because um, it is this beautiful pinky tone. So I'm going to see how it does under my eyes because I really do like the LA girl, but I've noticed that it doesn't completely like counteract the like bluish greenness of the veins that I have so I might need something a little more like it has the LA girl that I'm talking about is this pro conceal in neutral and it has a peachy undertone to it but I might need something a little more like actually like pinky peachy peachy my friend down here and I have wanted this freaking tushy clot for so for so long. I've read like so many good blog posts about it that it's like supernatural and stiff. So we'll see how I feel about it. See, okay, do you see right here? You probably can't see. Like you can see my veins through my face. It's not as bad on this side. Why oh why must I have such I have such like thin skin and I'm so pale you can like see straight through to my veins which is whatever I'm used to it like on my hands you can see like my veins it's so creepy well it's creepy to other people I'm used to it but it is nice and brightening though oh my god it looks so natural I don't know let me get closer can you see can you tell oh my god this is so weird. Oh my god, it looks so natural. <gasps> I want it even more now. Okay. So that is that. Oh my god, I really like that. Okay. Also, what else? Oh, my Shiro stuff. So, <laughs> I got three of the Sherlock cheekbone products I freaking love Sherlock I love Benedict Cumberbatch as like the general person but Sherlock his character as Sherlock is freaking amazing so of course I had to get these when I heard I heard Tara Babies talk about them and it's Kirsten and I was like okay sold um 
so I got three colors. This is like almost like a haul. Um, three patch problem, which is like this wonderful like bronzing shade for light skin. Do your research, which is like a gray. And then I got this one solely for the name. I'm gonna be honest. The game is on. Oh, the game is on. That was such a good episode. Um, so this is like a really dark bronzer. I don't know how much I'm going to use that. And then for sample, she actually sent me the other two in the collection. So she sent me a touch of drama and think it's the new sexy. So I have all them that I can play with, which is so, so cool. And I might like do a video all about them because when I was researching Shiro, it was hard to find a lot of information about them. So Anyhow, what I've been doing is, well, I've only used them once, <laughs> but what I did is that I mixed Do Your Research, which is the gray, and the three patch problem, but um, today I think I'm just going to use the three patch problem um, because it is actually a beautiful bronzing shade for my fair skin. So I only opened a few holes, as you can see, and I just left the rest covered because these are extremely pigmented. So let's see, I'll use this Real Techniques brush number 100 and just get the product on the bristles. It is seriously such a natural color. Like if I could recommend any of them to you that I have tried, it would be this one if you have fair skin. Like it's just so natural and it's like a contour but it's also like a it, it's a little bit of a warm tone so you could use it as like bronzer all over the face as well but it just looks so so natural on fair skin so if you want to try one I would really recommend what is this one called three patch problem yeah. if you have fair skin but they're really really nice formula and the price is on point I was able to get a bunch of stuff for $50 because she has free shipping over 50 um, so anyhow that is three patch problem and I like it because you can't really tell that I put on contour like it just looks like what okay I've been having this pet peeve that when so people look great like front 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 ways like face on when they do contour but then when they turn to the side, it's just like, BAM! And it, I don't think it looks nice, in my personal opinion. So, what I, I've been very conscious about that now. So I always try to turn my face to look how it looks from the side. Because from the front, it can look bomb. Like, it can look amazing. But then when you turn to the side, it's like a line and that's just not my taste. So um, this I really think is nice if you want a natural contour and you're fair. It's like, it looks like such an ugly color in here. Like it really does. It looks like yellowy and weird, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous on the skin. Okay, eyebrows, Anastasia, Tinted Brow Gel, and Auburn. As you can see, I really love it. I've used so much of it. And this is seriously my solution to my eyebrows because I just want them to be a redder shade because my eyebrows my natural hair is a very ashy light brown and it's just like the most boring color on me like it doesn't do anything for me I've been dyeing my hair since 11th grade and I'm now one year out of college so I couldn't so you can see a little bit of my natural hair because I'm my roots are coming through a little but I haven't seen myself with a full head of my natural hair color since I was like 15 15 16 I don't even know what I would look like with my hair color so Anyhow, the tinted brow gel is exactly what I've been looking for because I don't need to fill in my brows because I have full eyebrows, but anyhow. Okay, what else is there? I guess I'll do mascara. I've got a lot of mascaras to try recently, but I want to use up the two mascaras that I have open right now. This is the Dior 
Dior Shell Iconic Overcurl. And I freaking love this. Like, it is so, so incredible. And the curve of it just fits perfectly for my eye shape. But I do think it's getting drier. Like, I'll probably have to, like, get rid of it at the end of the month. But I don't want to! It's so good! But it's actually not so overpriced for a high-end mascara. Like, a lot of mascaras, high-end mascaras, are way more expensive than this. This is $28.50, so... What is falling all over my face? I See, I think this one's really dry. There's like little, little flecks under my eyes. But it just gives such volume. It is cray cray. I love it. Oh, so I learned a really random tip this week. Well, I just kind of figured it out, but I'm pretty sure I heard it somewhere. If you have like deodorant stains on your shirt, don't like try to rub it with like a tissue or like paper towel or whatever because it just like makes it way worse. Like the tissue just like falls apart and looks all like, you know how tissues fall apart and there's those little particles? Rub your shirt together with itself like this. I don't know if you can see me. Um... It, it's like the fabric on itself just makes it disappear. It's incredible. I had to do that this week because I had deodorant stains on my shirt and it was not cute. Um, but let me clean up under my eyes. I hate when there's little specks. What the heck is that? I even got, how did I get mascara out there? Please tell me, someone. Um, but just take a dry Q-tip and just rub it away. It's like so awesome how that trick works. And then I got a little bit of something on there. Oh, so you know, on Facebook they have like that time hop or whatever they call it, like the flashbacks, that every day they show you what you did that day, all the past years that you were on Facebook and you posted something. Today, um... In 2009 was like my semi-formal or like some sort of dance at in high school and I remember this so vividly. I was trying to do my makeup in my bathroom and I like Facebooked how do you make your eyeshadow last longer and people were, were like put water on it and then my one friend was like there's this thing called an eyeshadow base and what you do is you put it on and then it makes your makeup last forever and i was just like wow and this was way before i was into makeup so i just thought that was so cute and i remember it so vividly but yeah, five, six years ago, I knew nothing, literally nothing. And I was actually thinking about doing like either a mini series or like a video, just like a montage of different little things that I wanted to know when I was beginning with makeup because I've been, um, when I went to Sephora, I went with my best friend from Bed Bath & Beyond Zuri and she doesn't really know anything about makeup. Like she uses some makeup, but she doesn't really know a lot about it. And there was just like basic things that I remember wanting to know as well when I was starting that she also wants to know. So it seems like it's just these general things that people want to know. I feel like I know more, way more about now. So I might do a video on that if anyone is even interested or thinks that that's a good idea. Okay, what else? Oh, cheeks. I haven't got any new blushes, but what blush would go with this? What, what would go? My biggest dilemma all day. Um, oh, let me try something from the BH Cosmetics palette that Kristen sent me. Oh my God, this palette is so beautiful. <gasps> I'm gonna use this one. This, I am so attracted to that blush. And I think that it would be really cool. Or I could do like a monochromatic look with like these. Oh, I might do that. Let's go monochrome today. I like doing monochrome looks sometimes. Okay, these look super pigmented. Oh, shit. Yeah, way pigmented. Oh, that looks so good with that eye color. At the eye doctor, they're going to be like, what the heck? Why are you wearing so much eyeshadow? And I'll be like, because I want to. That is what I will say. No, I'll be like, 
because I like it. I'm like so, I don't know, I can't be like so outspoken to strangers. I just hate it. Okay. This cheek is a little more intense. <laughs> but let's not make the other cheek intense to match it up. Let's just try to blend that. Just blend it a little. Um, and I'm going to use MAC Light Scapade on the tops of my cheekbones. I've been using this more lately. Ugh. Oh my god. It's so good. Like, this looks like nothing in the pan. But when it's on your face, it's like, hi. That's what it says. Okay, so you guys know I was listening to NSYNC a little bit this week. And so if anyone can debunk this for me, I could just look up lyrics. But at the beginning of Bye 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 by NSYNC, you know, um, I always say, because Justin Timberlake starts this song and he goes like, Hi, I'm doing this tonight. But does he say hi? Like, I always say hi. And Chloe in college would always make fun of me because we listen to NSYNC a lot. And she was like, they definitely do not say hi. But <laughs> it seriously sounds exactly like he's saying hi. And she's like, is it like an intro to the song? Like, they're saying like, hi, before they start. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but I say hi before I do it every time. It is so weird. Um... But it's just how I roll. I'm just really weird. Oh, you know what would be good? Adding a little bit of this orange into the crease. But which orange? <gasps> Biggest dilemma. Um, Which brush? Also a big dilemma. Yeah, this one. The Sony Kashuk blending. I love this one. I'll use this one. That has a little bit of shimmer. Oh, yeah, girl. Yeah, right. I just like whisper to myself when I'm doing my makeup. I'm like, yes, that's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Okay. Loving that. Loving life. Okay. What else? Lips. Lips. Um, so this is how I do my hair. It's very profesh. So profesh. Yeah, my hair has a mind of its own. It looks different every day, no matter what I do to it. Even if I do the same thing to it every day, it'll look different every day. I'm sure that's how everyone's hair is, but I don't like style my hair. I just let it air dry after I comb it. And however it turns out, that's how it's gonna be. So this is my super professional way of doing my hair okay what lip color my eyebrows look like light like weird my eyebrows look weird oh <sighs> so many issues so 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 many issues um i want like a oh what about this I've been not using this, this Streak Urban Decay lipstick. I wonder how this would look. And you know what the best type of brush to use for your lips is? An angled liner brush. I used, I learned that years ago from X Sparkage, and I don't watch her anymore, but I watched her so much when I first started watching videos, and she taught me this, and I love it. It's so easy. No, I don't want that color with this. No, 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 no. Definitely not. And that Tony Moly is still kind of on my lips. But not... It's not like my Jack Black, how it's really, really thick. Um, let me consult my lip drawer just a moment. This one looks good. This is one that my friend Zoe sent me. Yeah, I like that way better. This is the Lee Swatier Hydra Kiss Color Balm in Coral Paradise. I just want it to be summer. So bad. That's really pigmented for like a crayon style. And I'm just gonna do one of these with my hair. Y'all. Yeah. Okay, then what earrings? 
Oh, these are so fab. I got these from Target a few weeks ago. Or like a month ago. Oh my god. It was probably like a month ago because it was during my week off before I started my new job. So, that is it. Oh, and I always put bronzer on my, like, chest. Um, because... I've noticed that even naturally, my face is darker than my chest, so it needs a little bit of help, <laughs> just to help match up the colors. But like, even when I have no makeup and like whatever, my face is still, it just is more pigmented than my chest, I don't know. Anyhow. That is my look, and my bangs are whatever, but it was so much fun to hang out with you guys and play with my new stuff, and mm, I just love this look. It makes me feel so, so summery, which is exactly what I want, and ooh, I'll use my Amazing Grace perfume that Zoe also sent me. I don't think I've used this since she sent it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it makes me feel so beautiful, that fragrance, and Courtney, Courtney K, when we shopped together in January, she was like, that smells exactly like sunscreen, and ever since she said that, that's what I smell, but it does have floral to it as well, like when it's on my skin, but it's just such a beautiful feminine fra fragrance to me, and I love it, and it makes me think of summer. Okay, so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so awesome catching up with you and just being random with you guys. And oh my god, this eyeshadow. Everything about this look, I'm obsessed with. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for being here and just being my friends. It's so awesome to have you guys. So I will see you all really soon and have a great weekend. Bye.